What's up everybody, Art the Pirate here, and today we're going to play a little Thor in the Jungle. Now I know what you're thinking, you're going, hey Art, it's been a long time since you played Smite, what's going on guys? I'm going to get all into that here in a little bit, but first up, we've got to go over the deck, as well as the build, just like we traditionally do, and then I'll talk about all that good stuff. So for our starting build, we're going to go with Assassin's Blessing, Mace, one healing potion, and one mana potion. And then we're going to follow that up with Warrior Tabby, Jotun's Wrath, Brawler's Beat Stick, Crusher, Hide of the Urchin, and then Frostbound Hammer. And as for our relics, I'm going to go with Aegis and Blink Rune. Now, of course, we have to go over his kit, and first up, we have Mjolnir's Attunement. Thor throws Mjolnir forward, doing damage to all enemies in its path. If hit twice, minions will take half damage, while the gods take double damage from the return. While the hammer is flying, pressing the button will again will teleport Thor to his hammer. Teutonic Rift is his too. Thor slams his hammer on the ground, causing a fissure to appear in front of him, stunning all enemies and blocking movement. Now, this ability can be kind of tricky to learn. You can block enemies off, you know, or block your team away from enemies and really let people escape. So, you have to be careful when using your two. Thor's big damage ability is Berserker Barrage. Thor spins his hammer around him, dealing damage every 0.4 seconds. Thor is immune to knockups for this duration. And it, it lasts for two seconds, so it's a lot of ticks of damage, and it scales 45%, you know, so it, it is a big damage ability. Anvil of Dawn is his ultimate. After a short buildup, Thor leaps into the air. While in the air, Thor can target at a great distance away and come crashing down in an area, dealing damage and stunning all enemies in a small radius. And this is huge. This really sets you up for your full kit and you can really delete people. But uh, again, it is kind of a skill shot because it not only takes you time to wind up to actually go to it, but it also takes time to actually fall down. So Thor's ultimate definitely takes a little bit of skill and you want to play around with it. And lastly, we have his passive Warrior's Madness. Thor gains physical power for each enemy god within 30 units of him. You get 10 physical power up to three times, so it stacks up to three times depending on how many enemies are close to you. It, very simple passive, and it is very, very strong. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what's going on. So, as you all know, I moved to Colorado, and that kind of, you know, it took, it, it took me a week, two weeks to kind of get situated, get the internet, all that other good stuff. And once we finally moved, I found out I just don't have time to play smite and edit videos as much as I did you know I, I this, this is no joke I have 427 hours racked up on smite I played it for 73 days that's five and a half hours a day of playing the game let alone making videos uploading them to YouTube doing thumbnails you know all that good stuff so I, I was spending you know eight nine hours a day on an easy day I was spending that much time on videos and you know on on those bigger videos those harder days where you just can't get a match you know I'm, I'm spending you know 10 hours playing to finally just find a you know oh I'm just gonna upload this 45 minute video and voicing it over and everything like it it, it just it takes a significant amount of time and I, I just don't have that time anymore let alone you know I, I live in a smaller apartment complex I can't stay up till four o'clock in the morning you know talking to my microphone because, you know, of course I'll get yelled at and, you know, they'll force me out of the apartment. So, as of right now, I just do not have time to do these daily uploads because, yeah, I, I just, I cannot stay up that late anymore, especially with, you know, the wife and the baby, yeah, they're on a whole different schedule moving here. So, guys, that, that, that's the simple fact of what's going on. I still want to make Smite videos for y'all because I've had a ton of people ask me, you know, over certain gods that I, I never played like Thor, I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, can you make a guide over this? Uh, so, that I'm going to go ahead and try to come out with these guides. I can't promise daily videos, guys. And I'm still going to continue my reviews as well as the Do You Remembers because I really, really enjoy those series, guys. That, that It's just really fun to me and I've always had a passion for reviews. 
But for y'all Smite guys, I definitely want to keep y'all, you know, uh, keep these videos up for y'all. You know, keep them updated, everything like that, because I've had a handful of people get in touch with me through Discord or, you know, simply just on YouTube uh, and, and tell me, hey man, will you please do a review over this god or this and that? Because there are a couple that I never made. So, I'm gonna work on that for y'all guys. I cannot promise uh, daily videos. I, I just, I like I said, guys, I just don't have the time to do that. But I will try my hardest to put out a three a week. That, that that's what I'm aiming for. And you know, I I, I have a feeling I can manage that. You know, I, once I kind of you know see how everybody reacts to all this, uh, you know, we we can definitely set up a schedule. But like I said, guys, I really would love to continue doing the reviews and as well as the Do You Remembers. They're just an absolute joy to make, and I I I really love those videos. So let me know what y'all think. But let's get into this gameplay. So <laughs> y'all have seen I. I I've, I've been doing decent work. We're gonna go ahead and ult into mid and you see here You fly up and then you kind of got to pick where you go in and you slowly fall so I did miss that I, I I did miss that stun there, but you could see we we were able to hit follow up with our Teutonic rift and actually take out uh, Whoever that was in mid hell. I think yeah <laughs> well, we were able to take her out so you know it really you don't have, you can use that ult to reposition yourself, but you really want to try to anticipate where those gods are going to be so you can drop down on top of them and take them out. Now, a few of you probably have noticed, it looks a little bit different too. Yeah, guys, I'm playing on the PS4 and there's some pretty good reason for that. I, I'm, me and another YouTuber have talked about doing some matches together, you know, maybe doing a duel together. Maybe we could combine our, you know, uh, have some real fun like sub versus sub battles. So we, we've kind of talked about that and, you know, that's kind of why I'm training up on PlayStation because he does not have a, a, a PC that he can run Smite on. So really, you know, hey, hey you got to play on PlayStation and there are some huge, huge differences in PlayStation and, and PC. Although, you know, it, they seem minor when you actually start doing things they're, they're they're pretty major like not being able to use a potion while you're uh basic attacking or leveling up an ability while you're basic attacking you actually have to stop your action to do that and uh, you know that that might cause just a fraction of a second but you know it it, it adds a it, it d definitely adds some issue be between just being able to do some simple you know commands or or abilities like that but you know that's for a whole nother video <laughs> But we've definitely been doing work this match, and I'm really surprised because I'm I'm just terrible with Thor. I've, I've only played him a couple of times, like I said, and, you know, here I am popping my relic because I don't know their controls. We're going to go ahead and take out this side camp, and then I see, hey, there, we've got their Alquang in hell here in the mid. Let's go ahead and ult up, and we should be able to make something happen here. We miss our ult. You can see it's very easy to miss your ult right there. And we're gonna go after this Alquong. Now, he ended up blowing up his clone, which he shouldn't have. You know, you should have tried to stay in Viz. That, 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 that would have just been so much better. Uh, who knows, Agni might have actually hit him with something. But, hey, we're gonna end up just keep on going, push this lane. We get a great double kill there. And, you know, that that's awesome. Ganesh is heading to mid. Let's go ahead and continue our farm. You know, I'm out of mana. But with this mana potion going and my now health potion going, we should be able to make something happen in this duo lane. Sure enough, we're gonna head over there. Now, Jean Wei, she, she doesn't stand a chance. Uh, we're, we're able to delete her. Neath should have turned in Ran, but you know, she stayed in a little bit. Agni and Ganesh headed over and uh, we, we deleted it. Now guys, this is awesome right here. We're done without any communication. I, I'm in a solo queue and you can see Ganesh and Agni head over to purple and me and Neath stay in head on the tower, which Neath could, you know, this minion wave might've been able to take out the tower. But since we're here, we might as well make sure that it actually happens and Ganesh and Agni go over to purple. Now, Agni, uh, you know, your, your magic damage heroes do, especially your support, do uh, very little to towers and structures. You really need your damage, your basic damage gods to head over and, 
really take those towers out. And you can see me and ETH stayed there. They went for purple. That is that that is awesome. That that is great. Oh, of course, if that tower was at full health, yeah, you wouldn't want everybody there just in case there was some rotation. But really you know that 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 worked out so well and you know without communication that's awesome it, that that is definitely one thing about playstation that's not as bad in pc is the the communication is much much harder in playstation especially since you can't just type so which you know it, it does reduce the toxicity but it's a little more difficult now we head over to hell and you can see i've got my tectonic rift boom we're gonna hit that Follow that up, and you can see, we kind of pulled off our combo, just, uh, we, we missed a few things on it, but really, that's the combo you want to go for with Thor. You want to first hit your Tectonic Rift, that hits them with that stun and stops their movement. Follow that up with Mjolnir's Attunement, and try to get them with both, you know, the, the throw through, and then the throw back, and as soon as you get that second round of damage from Mjolnir, you teleport to that hammer and then follow that up with your berserkers barrage and that that's really your combo it, it seems simple but it definitely takes some skill to get used to especially managing to hit mjolnir twice because you get double damage on that second return for heroes and that that that's absolutely huge you definitely want that damage so guys that's really the combo and if you start out with an, with an ultimate to get that stun you know that, that that's definitely a kill so really thor is just that that one i wouldn't say one trick pony but if he gets his combo off you're dead well that's gonna wrap this video up the team ends up surrendering pretty quick so you know hey Thanks for watching, guys, and if you did enjoy, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing. Guys, let me know how y'all like these videos. Would y'all like to see, you know, Smite or just, if I can't do daily, don't worry about it. Let me know, guys, I really appreciate it, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.